What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and part three video, thanks to you guys and your tips, David Nyler and Road Dragon, we troubleshooted the TV and narrowed it down to the main logic board, which is causing this TV not to turn on. I ordered the board online, got it, and when I swapped out the boards, the TV turned on. But after a minute, the TV turned off, and then I noticed that the model number on the main logic board the part number on the main logic board was not matching my receipt. So I called up Sarah from tvpartstoday.com and she was super nice. They have great customer service there and they recognized that they did send out the wrong board. So they issued me um, a return label and I could get my money back. But before I do that, you guys mentioned, hey, you could go into the service menu and see if you can change the, um, the version. Um, and, and see if it will work for your TV model. So I believe that the board that they sent me was maybe for a 50 or 55 inch TV. And the, um, the board that I needed was for a 46 inch TV. So the last four digits on the board number, the printed number on the board was 1436C. That's the board I needed. And on the receipt, that's what it says, 1436C. Um, now TV Steve 2 that's his username he mentioned that the board number is BN94 and the BN97 number so basically the, um, you go by the sticker number so anytime you order a board make sure you go by the sticker number now I got a lot of comments uh, from David Nyler Sporto772 and TV Steve 2 that's his username and they said, see if you could go into settings. The TV turns on and off after like 30 seconds or a minute. That could be a totally different issue from uh, when I plugged in the TV board from the last video, I noticed that the text on the screen was a little bit large for the screen, for this screen. So let's go ahead and go into the service menu mode. And in this video also, I'm gonna show you how to enter your service menu mode. Now. Use caution, you could really screw up the settings on your TV where you have to order another main logic board. So act at your own risk when you enter this code. This is for service text only. So the TV is plugged in. You have to have a standby light for this to work. And then make sure you have fresh batteries in your original Samsung TV remote. And you wanna be in TV mode. So right now we're in TV mode. And then we're gonna press, okay, info, mute, 182 power. But of course, we're gonna to have to aim it at the IR sensor. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm hitting info, mute, 182 power. See if that works. Now it should turn on to the service menu, hopefully. There, oh, there, there it was. That was the service menu. I just, and the TV turned off. The main logic board, there's something wrong with the main logic board. So we know that that service menu code works, but if you can't even enter anything in the service menu or change anything in the service menu because the TV's turning on and off. And I did a repair kit from shopjimmy.com it shouldn't have an issue with the power board. Um, I checked the main logic, um, I checked the standby voltage and I have a steady standby voltage of uh, 5.07 volts and it's steady. So it has the proper voltage going to the main logic board but the TV's still turning on and off. Something on the main logic board is defective I believe. And they sent me the wrong version. So. Uh, let me try it again, turn the TV off. All right, now we're gonna hit info mute 182 power. Try it again. I'll try it one lap, three times. I'll, I go by three strikes, you're out. And it should, there it is. All right, let's hurry up and do this. Ah, didn't give me a chance to do it. <laughs> it turns off right away. Now, before it, 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 it stayed on for a good minute, like before, but now it's like turning on and off like crazy. 
I can't. I gotta return the board. At least we. At least we know what, how to enter the service menu mode. If that information was useful, give me a big thumbs up. Thanks to David Nyler, Rogue Dragon, TV Steve Two, and Sporto Seven Seven Two. Thanks guys for your tips. I tried. It just something's wrong with the main logic board where it turns off the TV. Now I'm I'm gonna plug in a Chromecast in a different port. See if that works. I'm not even gonna. I don't think it's gonna work. All right, so that's. I'm gonna hit source. This TV's turning on and off like crazy. All right, HDMI three. Chromecast is. All right, so it is fitting. Look, everything fits in the screen. It yeah, everything fits in the screen, and it's. Not turning off, oddly enough. Hmm. Well, everything, yeah, fits in the screen. Let me go ahead and cast something. Look. He's right. When I plugged into a different port, everything seems to fit. And it could be a resolution issue, like um, TV Steve mentioned. I think it was the format. That's why the screen was too big. It was too, uh, it was the, like the aspect ratio perhaps, or the picture size. Oh, it could have been the picture mode. Not the picture mode, uh, picture size. Yeah, see? That's why. So I hit this blue button, picture size, and you could change it. But the TV still turns on and off. So I'm gonna return it. I'm gonna order the right board make sure well I did order the right board I'm gonna make sure the right board comes in and I have this TV up and running that's where we're at so if this video was informative give me a big thumbs up and if you know anyone that this video helped and that needs the service menu code for their Samsung TV go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more tech videos like this and click on that bell notification to stay updated on the latest video I'm gonna make another video I'm gonna have this TV up and running it's gonna work I am confident i am determined to get this tv working even though it's 10 years old and it's an artifact this thing is going to run we're not going to recycle it we're not going to dump it in a dumpster we're going to get it up and running and it's going to be in someone's living room for the next 10 years so that's where we're at thanks guys